Let's go! We actually win this game! I think we're good! Oh yeah, we're gonna win. He already used Rumble. I need time to shine doesn't do anything. So we hit, we proc the block, or win. And then none of the superpowers can deal with the 9-9. We got him, boys. <laughs> ah, it always happens in the leap streams, man. Making content for you guys is a full-time job, and it's only possible with your support. Click the link in the description to join my Patreon for access to exclusive streams, deep fry podcasts, private video calls, and more. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today we are going to be trying a twist on a very fun deck uh, that we used to run, which is Leap Bandits. It is the take on the Sun Bandits uh, deck from, of course, my good friend Tryhard. Uh, the deck where you're stealing Sun from your opponent every single turn with Turquoise Skull Zombie and Ra Zombie. Naturally, when I saw Ra Zombie being run on Ironically in the deck, I had to add Leaps. Uh, so we are running uh, four copies of Transformation Station and Evolutionary Leap. Uh, again, when you play your Ra Zombie, it's going to reduce your opponent's Sun by two that turn, and then Leaping this turns it into a seven cost card. So it gives your opponent very limited resources to answer this card itself, and then you can capitalize by getting a seven, and then an eight, which is either Plank Walker or an Octo, and eventually get Zombot. Uh, and that's one of ways of winning the game. The other card with Rust Bolt that anyway is very good with Leaps is the Zombie King. The Zombie King turns any small card into a Knight of the Living Dead, which is a 7 cost card. You leap that, it's already a Plank Walker and Octo, and very close to getting your Zombot uh, on turn 9 uh, from leaping those Knights. So the challenge of making this deck was to have early game. Uh, the original Sun Bandits didn't really have that much uh, early game units. It was running maybe just like uh, Gladiator in the early game and mostly a bunch of tricks for controlling. Uh, the King really does need consistently to have other minions on the board to be good. Uh, so what I did was took out Cryobrain, which was the ramp uh, in the original version that gives you extra uh, brains every single turn and instead I'm running flag zombie which will enable you to get your uh, Sun stealers in early even just getting a turn three turquoise skull zombie is very good same thing with turn three king uh, And then to add those consistent early game units small units for the king to transform we are running flag swarm So I'm running four copies of middle manager which is a cheap card that conjures another card that will, will potentially also give you, you know, five, six cost cards, things later uh, that will be leapable uh, for the eight leaps that you're running in the stack. Also running Interdimensional Zombie, which is a very good card to play on turn one and then transform. It transforms into a three cost card and then you can leap into a four cost card after that. So Interdimensional Zombie on one, if they don't remove it, then Transformation Station on turn two in that lane becomes very good. Uh, I'm running Genetic Experiment. This is a card that will uh, grow by itself, a very, very powerful one drop, uh, growing by itself every turn. So even if this does end up turning into, you know, getting enough health to turn into a uh, knight, uh, that'll be great. Th this really also does sort of capitalize having the strong early game swarm in a board. It just means that when you start stealing their sun, they're going to have fewer sun to deal with your threats every single turn, especially if you have something like genetic experiment growing every single turn, and they're not even making as much sun as you are. Uh, they'll very likely be able to, uh, the, you're very likely going to pull ahead of your opponent because they're just not going to have the answers that you, they need. Uh, theoretically, again, if you have Flag Zombie on the board, you could even be playing this Raw Zombie on turn 5, uh, which means they'll have 5s go down to 3 and then have to deal with a 3, 4, and then whatever else you have on the board. Anyway, let's see how this deck does. Not running going vile, really going to be relying very heavily on leaps uh, as a win condition, as we often do. This should be a fun deck. I'm definitely open to changes. The chat is going a little crazy because everyone had uh, a million different ideas of how to run this. I think, again... The challenge of having your sort of ramp to Sun Bandits and also having King have other minions. I think Flagstorm is the answer to that, but there's only one way to find out. Let's get right into it here, uh, and we will do some bets after I mulligan. Gonna get rid of Leap Station for now. This is a pretty good, <laughs> really good early game hand. Um, turquoise. Or something I need more. Not necessarily. Alright, so we're gonna go with middle on one. Let's see what we get. Oh, another turquoise. 
Little zombie, I'll take it. Little professional synergy here. Not bad. Uh, and let's do some bets here. So if you think we are going to win 6 out of 8, vote yes. 5 out of 8 is going to be a no over here at the live stream. Twitch.tv forward slash fry them up. Very cool to see Flag Zombie come off the top of the deck. It means this will uh, allow us to play these, challenge the forget-me-nuts that he spammed. Also, if he removes one of these genetic experiments, which will likely happen, we'll have turn three Turquoise Skull, which is awesome. I love how my one drop is trading with Juggernaut's a solid card, you know? It's 2-2 armor, but it dies to the almighty genetic experiment. Hell yeah. All right, so far so good. See, now we got to get our leaps back. That second flag is going to brick, unfortunately. Who knows? Maybe it'll turn into a minion that we can, like, you know, utilize with King later. That's what we get here. We're a little bit at mer the mercy of our draws already. Uh, we can't protect our genetic, but the good news is is that not only are we draining, but this also grows every single turn. So this 2-6 will uh, slowly but surely turn into a significant threat in this game. Let's see what we got. <sighs> Double flag off the top of the deck is not it. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to get what the first flag, but second and third, man. That hurts. It's a little bit bricky, especially because we're not running like Fossil Head or anything like that. Looks that grave. But that's all he's gonna do this turn. We're still fine here. Okay. <laughs> Can we be something good, please? Chicken. Look at all those chickens. Uh, just chipping away at our opponent's health. Down to six. Thank you, Stinky Bean Man. Raw zombies playable. See, I, I think here it's good because he only has three, and we have a significant board already. I think this raw zombie is really good. Flag Zombie's proccing the block, and we just need to chip our opponent down a little bit. Man, we need a leap right now, because this will turn into a seven. Like, that's how we can... That's how we can really, like, stay... We need, like, win more cards. Not running any going virals, which, who knows? Maybe we need them. I don't know what this deck list is so tight. We're only running two rockets. It's our only two removal cards. And a couple healthy trees to keep things alive, including the king. I mean, we're still in good shape. Ah, uh, need a leap. Let's see what this guy comes up with now. Another Perico. Uh, I think it's keeping this. Al I mean, we usually just win, right? <laughs> we usually win. We should win. No, yes. All right. <laughs> it wasn't pretty. It was very far from being pretty, but we're one and zero. Let's go. Let's keep playing here and see what happens. Man, the deck felt like it needed going viral at that point. Like, we could just get rid of the two healthy treats, get rid of the two rockets, and run going viral. All right, well, let's let's do one more game with this deck list, and we'll see how it goes. Deck definitely a work in progress. Going viral, even like knights, if you get your knights out, or, you know, some of your lake and your turquoise skulls, and you don't have your leaps, having a going viral at that point isn't a bad idea. It, it, we could the problem is once you get rid of rockets and you get rid of healthy treat you're just all in <laughs> i don't know if that's a good thing we'll get rid of the rod it's a little late this looks okay should we ditch one of these fours um yeah let's try it i kind of like the king i think discipline though even though i really like king we should do that. So it's going to be middle manager on one, and again, we'll use interdimensional on two, followed by... Cool card? Followed by uh, the genetic, and that will transform this to a three-cost card. See, now where's our leaps is the question. We can put this neatly right here. Love the science synergy. Brain vendor now. Uh, I wish we were actually able to use that. <laughs> I mean, we can nerf something. I don't feel like Gladiator really adds anything to this board, and if he doesn't remove anything, we really do want to... Well, we're not able to play this next turn anyway. Hmm. Boop. Okay. We're playing against Control Captain Combustible, apparently. Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> Should I spam this? I think I do. It plays around Captain Cucumber, which is very likely uh, going to come out this turn. Dude. So let's get rid of that. Much needed card here. There is Leap. Uh, I wonder if we try to go after this. It's really giving him a lot of charge. <laughs> okay. But here's a 2 6. It's a good card against Captain Combustible. He's just drawing. He's not doing much anything here. He'll block, but. Hello. Uh, this professional does take damage from the split P, which is good because now uh, this guy goes bye bye. And so it will again grow the middle manager, being a professional taking damage. Love to see it. A little extra value. But I think it's just raw zombie and then leap here. So we'll go. Oh. Okay, so now we king. Again, there's not a whole lot Captain Combustible can do. And we do again have the leaps. Not a whole lot he can do against a, a 3 5 on turn 4. You know, already used Banana Bomb, Banana Bomb Berry Blast, but he's already used those, so that makes it a lot harder. Uh, again, it's turn 5, it's turn 5, but he only has 4 because we stole. I, I guess stealing Sun from the opponent makes it harder for them to deal with your king. Yeah, we're fine. He couldn't do anything. You know, even on turn 5, he has, like, Gatling P potentially, but since we stole his son. Can we get the 1-2, please? Never lucky. Yeah, but we have the leap now. Now, there's a weird play where we just raw zombie instead of going for the leap. This is invincible, by the way. <laughs> Razabi will give him four again, so now he has a banana bomb. It could be he could deal with this. He'll have to spend his entire turn dealing with it now. Honestly, I, I, I do like to leap this, but I don't think there's a rush. And bringing him down to four sun, it, it likely means we're just getting a second knight. We win the trade in lane two. This is invincible again. Knight of the Living Dead against Captain Combustible. There's just no way to deal with it. I guess like, other than a repeat moss combo, but then he loses anyway. So we'll play a Gravestone here next turn. I mean, that's fine. We're taking 8 damage. We'll play a Gravestone here next turn for sure. Gotta gotta. So this turns into a Knight and we can still leap. The Gravestone will clutch this here. Uh, again, leap in 1 just automatically wins this game. I don't think there's going to be anything... Captain Combustible can do here. Leaping one, either makes Opto or Plank Walker, and he can't deal with again a 5 5 with two armor. It's just not something Captain Combustible can deal with. Okay, well, <laughs> <two and no. laughs> so far, so good. Has not been pretty, not at all. But getting the job done. <laughs> So we could go one, two. It's kind of sweet. Oh, how do we mulligan this hand now? Do I just get rid of this one? I don't get rid of you. Oh, see, this goes together better. So let's try this. Might as well see if he has the click P on one. Come on, pass. Pass. Damn it. Pass. Yes! So he'll freeze this and then we leap it. After the fact. So it's definitely leap station. And then we'll go double with the like healthy tree. Looks good to me. <laughs> That's the best case scenario. Bro, come on. You've never heard of interdimensional zombie leap station? Oh, that's kind of sweet. Do we like hitting this? Is this good? Is this good thing? I don't really want this to be on the board otherwise, so... But we are getting our 3-1 here. And we'll have a 4-drop. So that's awesome. Bonus track, Bucket Boa. 
I'll go here. I, I have to go here, though, right? And we can either nerf or whatever. Let's see. If he plays like Snow P, we'll give it the cheese. <laughs> He's trying to get the four drop. Please get the genetic. Dude, for real. And it makes these not grow as well. That's so annoying. It's actually super annoying. We need a leap. We need a leap. That was so lucky. He just threw that out there and nailed it. Come on, man. Thank you, Koch Lugs. Welcome to the Frymoy. Dude. This guy's done nothing except snowdrop. <laughs> and now he concedes after the luckiest play in PVZ history. <laughs> Alright, 3 0, I don't care. <laughs> he played a card we were technically ahead on the board. That's a win. That is a win. Hooklug says, Fry, I watch almost all of your vids. Here's the first time catching you stream live. So a little sub wouldn't hurt. Thank you so much, Kuchlugs. Apologize if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. I wonder if we go for the rocket. It's so awkward keeping this in our starting hand, though. Ugh. Ugh. What am I going to do? Do I keep the king when I have another four drop? See, now this is interesting. Is this good, though? No, it's not good anymore. What am I doing? Fine. <laughs> Bro felt bad. So it's like this now. Got to play around rumbles. This one goes on heights. Who knows? Maybe we'll just get a king and, and get away with it next turn. You never know. Hey, never mind. King got denied. Galactic cactus, man. Not cool. Fry, can you hit the gritty on stream? <laughs> I don't know how to do the gritty. What do I look like? Do I look like Gen Z to you? Come on. I'm at least a boomer. Okay, so I guess we do this in four, because there's nothing for the king anyway. Where's my heal? We're just going to die to the Bananasaurus right now. That's all that happens. Come on. Her blockbuster <laughs> incoming. Yup, we lose. Ow, ow, ow. So now what? He gets one fewer thing. So it's just king and then nerf. Or or healthy treat, actually. It could be really good. If he doesn't draw a card. If he plant foods, we lose, though. Dun, 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 dun. So do we nerf or rock walls? We'll do 2 plus 2. Otherwise, rock wall means it does 10. Yeah, so it's like... We actually get a knight, which is cool. Barely. And then we leap in into Plank Walker and we're good to go. <laughs> All part of our plan. The next turn is... We kind of have to leap already, right? So, interdimensional... Rock wall... Healthy treat, leap, something like that. Come on, Plank Walker. One time. One time. One time, Plank Walker. No. <laughs> Zombot, but wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. So this goes up. We can add this. Hold on. Will you do our best attempt? Shush, 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 guys. This is not the right time, Stinky B Man. Six. 
Oh, we needed that flank walker though. Okay, so if this has uh, nine health, it'll take two and six. Oh, it's sad we can't leap, but we have to not die to this B-Rex here. We're taking four damage bulls, I know. And now we're, we're hopefully turning this one into a knight. There's eight. We needed Flank Walker, we would have won. Good enough. One more leap. Oh my gosh, we got leap. We got leap. We got leap. We're going for the Zombot. Guys, it's happening. Guys, it's happening. I don't even know what he could have. He need like plant food plus something, man. No, we're good. See, he thinks this is going to die. So he's just making sure we don't, I don't know. Now we're going to bonus attack. We don't need bonus attack. We got something way better. We got Zombot. <laughs> he's like... <laughs> I don't know why that... <laughs> Let's go, guys! We actually win this game! I think we're good! Oh, yeah, we're gonna win. He already used Rumble, and in Time to Shine doesn't do anything. So we hit, we proc the block, or win. And then none of the superpowers can deal with the 9 9. We got him, boys. <laughs> ah, it always happens in the leap streams, man. See, you don't need going viral, you just need leap. <laughs> that was so close! Ah, <laughs> uh, it's going in the highlight. Going highlight and intro, that one. We need a leap! We need a leap! Thank you, Toast Surge. We need a leap, guys. <laughs> Hit the gritty. I'll work on the I'll, <laughs> I'll work on the the gritty between now and next stream and we'll do it then, okay? <laughs> you guys. You guys is a meme. How do we do this this this? I'm gonna keep this hand. I think we go for this on three and then do this one on four, maybe? Beta Caratina, the problem with trying to go for turn one interdimensional zombie, I did that against Green Shadow, but Beta Caratina, 50% of her superpowers spawn the 2 2, so now it seems like it would have been a good idea. But then she also usually runs a lot of Forget Me Nuts and Galactic Cactus, it's just hard to pull it off. We got Bucket Boy, so that's nice. So now we do nothing. Yeah, the no voters not happy. So that's what he got. Do I leap? Do I set this up? I'm gonna say yes. Oh yeah, bucket boy, bucket boy. Go for the other one. <laughs> for I hit the gritty for ten dollars. Not gonna try. What do we do here? Um, 
Do I leap this so we keep the card? We'll get an extra three drop. It's the cost of leaping. Maybe we'll just get line dancing zombie. Okay, well we get an extra deadly imp. Which will hopefully slow down this lane that's killing us here. Ow, that really hurt. Smell it. So do we just go for this? I don't think I'm going to go for like... We could go like Fishy Imp here and then Rock Wall. Uh, no! <laughs> Jelly Bean. Great answer. Probably get the king. Right? We're taking 10. That actually wins. This guy got Laser Cattail from his beta Scaratina superpower and is anyway running Admiral Jumping Bean. We're probably just going to lose from that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Alright, we're four. Stick's, Stick's doing just fine. That was crazy. That was turn four. He killed us on four, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Did we even block? I don't know what to do. Okay. Pass. <laughs> Everyone wants me to do the gritty. I don't know how to do the gritty. I've seen it like two times. Here, I'm looking up a I'm looking up gifts right now of the gritty. Now what do I do? It's like this? Maybe I should have played both of these. One cost three too? It's not terrible. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, well, he didn't have a little buddy. I'm so happy. Leap station right now, please? I don't think we spam this, right? You're not science. What a BT if you did it for $20. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready for the gritty? I could pull this off. This isn't that hard. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Oh, when I win, when I win, when I win. When I win, when I win. Next time we win. I'm studying the gritty. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> I was looking at our generation right now. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Yeah. Not that hard. <laughs> what is this guy doing? <laughs> Guys, we're gonna win from him conceding. This is the best case scenario. <laughs> the gritty is coming faster than you guys could have even expected. <laughs> we're counting it as a win, too. We're ahead on this board, okay? <laughs> yes, we're five and one. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> There, you wanted cringe? You got the cringe. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> this dance actually feels very natural to me. I did it backwards. It's hard to do on a webcam, you know? Making excuses. <laughs> Five and one. Uh, pretty sure I nailed that. Fairly certain. <laughs> My girlfriend's over here cringing her face up. 
Ah. <laughs> uh. Phone in a light gritty. <laughs> the chat likes it. The chat likes it. I came. Six and one. No, that guy didn't play a card, doesn't it? Why is everyone conceding today, though? Are the surfers dead? Let's go, buddy. E. <laughs> We're still five and one, right? Guys, I nailed it. I, I, I did. I never done. I never even did it. I just watched a gif. I'm pretty sure I've done a dances that are sort of like this in the past on my own. Not exactly like this, but anyway. Ah. Nailed it. No one can take that away from me now. Come on, give me another one. I think we get think we okay here. Come on, forget me nuts. Actually wanna see forget me nuts now. <laughs> yeah, this is a big coffee cup, I guess. I need some water. So, let's try this now. Maybe we'll get another one drop. Nope. We got Kitchen Sink. Pretty good card against Grass Knuckles. In the non-anti-hero form, we can't really deal with it. Wow. He would try Caratops there, okay? Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of answers also to flag, so... I think this king should be pretty good to go. Should we do king? I guess just king. It means he'll have to answer the 2-2. Two, two. It's not that hard for him to. But, you know, this will do 3 damage. It's okay even if we just get a 3 cost 3-5. It's not bad. Make that gritty, the new sub animation. <laughs> it's a good idea. You know what? Make a gif out of it. Send it to me. And I'll upload it. We got ourselves a deal. Do it again. I'm almost finished. <laughs> <laughs> the chat approves. I thought you guys would be nitpicking me and saying no, you're, you have to be with their with your I don't know what. The chat doth approve. I guess like this. This is so awkward. Oh my gosh. Ow. So we're getting a knight, and we can leap. There's a lot of good news here. What are we doing next turn? Nerf? Getting a little low on health, too. I love how this is a 2-2. Two, two. It turns into a 5-5. Five, five. Love to see it. Oh, wow. All right. I think I figured out what we're doing now. <laughs> it's just leap, leap. Leap, leap, Zombot time. Uh, yeah, it still doesn't die. Oh, does it? Oh, no, no, wait. This, well, if it's Octo. Do we need Octo? Plankwalker is still okay here. I won't complain. All right. Leapy time. Octo is fine. And now it's Zomba. We're taking six damage. We're taking six, seven, eight damage. But then his field goes bye-bye. This will buff those cards again. I think we're okay, because we'll still have two health left and a full block meter. And he's obviously not going to have anything. We have to just not die at a time. No! Oh! <laughs> Whoops! I don't know why I thought that would work. Come on, Plankwalker, please! What am I supposed to do? No! I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I, I, I goofed. I, 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 
I did the goof. Oh no, this is gonna die now. This forget me nuts is making life difficult, not gonna lie. Damn, I screwed that up. I thought we had the zombot. What are you just shamrocking at that for the win? Oh, too bad. All right, just like that, we're in a five and two scenario. <laughs> this actually doesn't go yes anymore necessarily. We gotta get one more game here. Oh come on! All right, here we go. Well, I'm not gonna change it for the last game. If you do it again, I'll show you my fifteen to zero deck surprise. <laughs> real imagine you're gonna show it to me anyway I can tell All right, let's see what happens here is flag storm good into rose I think it is we'll do this on heights in case it turns into high diver where does this go to or uh, I think this goes here in case we get another middle manager Oh, this isn't even transforming. Oh. <clears throat> Essentially a 7 and 2 scenario. Yeah. Interesting. Um, so it's turn 3. The opponent won't, won't have enough... For the shrinking violet next turn if we do this we can actually flag zombie here as well is it worth it the the card i really want to leap is the bucket boy i don't necessarily want to leap this uh, let's do it like this <laughs> oh <laughs> she knows I forgot to shout out Mix Lou in the intro. Thank you to Mix Lou for giving me this idea. Dude, don't flick that. Dude, don't flick that. Okay. <laughs> Do we just raw zombie here? Stupid. I really want to raw on the ground, though. I'm gonna do this and maybe set up leap station somewhere. I'm just gonna shrinking violet now. Wow, we got the stonk. That hurts. Dude, let me cook! You got two stonks in a row. Okay, well, we're not gonna win if this happens, man. It's impossible now. You got three magic beanstalks. Disgusting. I guess we'll leave this one. Uh, the one in four dies at least, so that's something. Some consolation. Can't chop them, of course. They only have four attack. And only one cost four fours, draw a card. Okay. Something cheap would have been nice there. I don't I don't really know what to do here. Two, three, one. We'll rock wall something. Oh, 
Bro, <laughs> this, well, this game wasn't fair, man. We're not gonna win this. No freaking way. Here goes all our RAM. We're not blocking. There's no point in doing leaps into rows anyway. She just goatifies whatever you. She goatifies her whole life. Maybe we'll get a chop here. The no voters were whining the whole stream, and it looks like they're gonna pull it off because of this crap. Yeah. We we stabilize. It just depends what happens now. It's probably gonna get hit by something. Ugh. So the opponent can drag in here. Right? Why am I just no answer? <laughs> no dragon for you! <laughs> he had nine, now he only has seven. Get wrecked. This is how we come back into the game, guys. He just puts anything with four attack here, and that's how this works. <laughs> Real man is not showing me. Uh, why am I taunting the chat? Oh, we got the answer. He did not go face with that six damage. Not sure what's up with that. If we win this game, guys, can we block, please, at some point? Want to be here at six three? <laughs> well. We can leap the against dragon. We can still leap and maybe get plank walker. We still can leap into the dragon. Oh, he doesn't have drag. What is he going for? He got nothing. Come on, plank walker, one time. One time. We're usually. We need plank walker once today. I needed one time to get plank. Okay, we need block heal now. Can we please block? Can we please get heal? My gosh, we got Zamba. Okay. <laughs> Alright, at least we got Zamba now. Now what happens? <sighs> we'll go middle manager. See what we pick up here. I mean, this should go in one. Fireworks. Oh, boy. Okay, we clogged the lanes at least. Oh my gosh. This guy ramped, he controlled us, he had every answer, and then he just has no late game. What? He's not doing anything about the Zombot? He, he's just gonna, gonna try blocking this. We got another Magic Bean stuck. So he's just tanking the 9 damage. What? He has a go to fuzz? <laughs> but we got Trickster. Uh -huh. Still hard to see a, a, a path to victory here. We'll get six damage from the Trickster. So that's cool. Middle manager is a good top deck because. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, we need a miracle conjure, like basically a kitchen sink zombie, and him not having an answer. Uh, is this good? Well, it's necessary. Guess we can play an environment here and get some splash damage. It's better than nothing. His his board actually goes bye bye from the splash. It actually kills two minions. So we just need every draw of our. We need him not to get any more mag magic bean stocks. And we just need every draw of ours to be freaking amazing. That's a pretty good start, actually, top decking our six drop. You know? The sun draining doesn't matter much, but it's just about him being bricked. If he's bricked, we can still win this game. Use go. Okay, so what's left? Mog and Weedway? 
He just needs to have all twin sunflowers and garbage, and it feels like it because he's been ram he's been hovering around, you know, ten sun for a long time now, and it's just had nothing. That was the first big card he played. He kind of sacked it into the trickster. We might actually be okay here, because this rose it she's definitely bricked. The question is to what extent. We're obviously down to no no cards. Their middle managers are basically used up as well. Nothing. <laughs> Am I getting <laughs> Wait, don't get Mog. Get get your freezer your weed with the other one that's not Mog. I don't remember. Did he use freezer weed whack yet? Remember. Don't mog that. We need our seven drop. Come on, Mechasaur. Okay. Well, that works. Keep it going. We top decked another six drop in a row. <laughs> I still don't have that much faith. Anything. Cobb Cannon, three headed chopper, dragon. <laughs> that. Come on, mixed up grave diggers. Anything that messes this up. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, wait. Oh, he's got to move something. Here, move this to lane one, you fool. <laughs> he could have theoretically messed that up, but... And we're five and three! <laughs> we were four and oh with this deck, guys. Just saying. Just saying. Oh man, what a stream. What a stream. It's going on YouTube, I don't care. The answer is no. Such drama. Alright guys, well we kind of had everything today. We had, uh, we got Octo Zombie every time, which is very, very sad. I think we actually win that game if we had gotten Plankwalker instead of Octo. Oh, we would have had so much more steam on that board, man. Uh, but anyway, we had Flag Swarm wins, we had Zombots, we had a lot of leaps, and we had the Giddy. <laughs> the Gritty. <laughs> the Giddy. <laughs> That's how much of a boomer I am. I can't even remember what it's called. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. That was a lot of fun. Peace, this is Fry.